Because God created and loves and knows what's best for us, He gives us moral and spiritual direction about how to live life in the best way. The Ten Commandments are a love gift to us from God. Of course, this is true of all scripture, but the heart and soul of God's guidance is found in the beginning and the Ten Commandments, we find them in Exodus 20, where God spoke the words to Moses and then they were overheard by the children of Israel. Later, Moses restates the Ten Commandments again. Ten Commandments are to be memorized, pondered, committed to as a way of life. Jesus talked and explained and clarified the deeper meaning of the Ten Commandments for us. And, and he, as he explained the Ten Commandments in the Gospels, he raised the bar on our understanding of what God expects of us. For instance, in Matthew 5.27, he explained the meaning of the commandment, not to murder. He said actually anyone who is angry with his brother will be subject to judgment. The first four commandments deal with our relationship with God. And Jesus summarized it as you will, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and strength. The last six commandments address our relationship with our fellow man. And Jesus summarized this as love your neighbor as yourself. The commandments are our treasure. We cherish them. They are a great gift, a love gift from God. They guide us, they warn us, they protect us. When we keep them, we show others what God is like. When we fail to live them, we bring great harm to ourselves and we dishonor our maker. There is a problem with keeping the Ten Commandments because man is born in bondage to sin and selfishness and in the end we cannot but break God's holy law. But when we become anew by faith in Christ, we receive the indwelling Holy Spirit. We are freed from having to sin and we are given the grace to keep God's law. Keeping God's commandment is not wondrous, but it helps us to live at peace with God and with ourselves and with our neighbors. We can learn to live into the Ten Commandments as we realize that they are God's gift to us. And it's like learning to tell the truth. When you are young, you sometimes feel that you must protect yourself. But deceiving others are not telling the truth. You are learning as time goes by not deceive others. The poet said, oh, what a tangled web we weave when we first practice to deceive. We learn to speak the truth. We learn to practice honesty. That's why the prophets loved God's law. And while we should too keep the Ten Commandments, protect us and protect societies, these principles are the heart of how God created us to live.